Hey everyone, welcome to video number two of Stoma Sibling Kathy. Um, I'm Kathy from the Philippines and um, I have an ileostomy bag. I It's July 1 today and um, I'm scheduled for my reversal surgery this coming July 24. Um, the day before, I will already be brought to the hospital for confinement to do the pre pre work for my operation. Um, well, today, um, I did some walking and uh, I've been doing that for the past weeks. Um, I suggest that if you are an ostomate and um, do not, and if you do not have um, a community yet, there are so many groups on Facebook that I suggest you you um, join. Um, I am part of Ostomates. Um, I think they have less than a thousand members and uh, you can also join the one with um, reversals um, that one has okay it's reversals slash ileostomy colostomy reversal discussion and support that one has more than 9,000 uh, members already as of this time um, I suggest that uh, you join any of these groups that you think um is is um, applicable to your situation um well as far as joining that um there's a 50 50 chance uh of getting depressed or getting discouraged but there's a 50 chance of being encouraged because 50 percent um are good reports while 50 are you know not so good reports because uh, they are still in the process of healing or maybe something bad happened. Um, so I suggest that if you, if you are an ostomate and you will be um, having your reversal soon, make sure that if you have questions, um, you you, of course you can ask fellow ostomates, but um, please be warned that not all conditions are the same so uh, just be very careful because not all um, all of, of things that worked out for one will work out for you so it's always best to check with your um, with your doctor um, but it's good to, to gather all of these information at least you have something to ask your doctor um, will this work for me will this not work for me like for example um, I asked about colon cleanse uh, to prepare myself for the surgery so I had to text the secretary of my doctor uh, because someone suggested that I do this and that so yeah leave um, these things to the experts so but yes be, be proactive uh, with your health uh, do your own research as well and then just check it with your doctor if um, it's applicable to your specific condition um, I would like to um, just pour my heart out in this episode in this episode of uh, Stoma Sibling Kathy. Um, yeah, I'm feeling a bit anxious actually because um, the surgery will be a major one. Um, they would have to look for my um, large intestine and connect my small intestine to it. Um, and then you know go through the usual process um, so that it can uh, and check if it will work the way it used to um, but yeah so being being anxious um, is a normal thing because uh, you're anxious because you don't know what's gonna happen right and so I I consulted the Word of God I am one who believes in the Bible and what it says and um, I asked God for his word um, to calm my nerves and um, to battle with the, the anxiety that I feel um, so he led me to this verse in my prayer time Isaiah 40 31 says but those who trust in the Lord will find new strength they will soar on wings like eagles they will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Let's let's look at the, the the scripture again. But those who trust in the Lord, trust means, you know, you're surrendering. 
Trust in the Lord will find new strength. I want a new kind of strength, one that doesn't come from my own strength because it's limited. I want to find new strength. And the Lord is saying here, just rely on my strength because your own strength will fail you. Our own strength will fail us. They will soar high on wings like eagles. So that means, you know, we will be um, rising above our challenges. This is how I am, I'm interpreting it. We'll be uh, rising above our challenges. It says here, they will run and not grow weary. So, you know, it, we're worried, we're anxious. But it says here, if we put our trust in the Lord, we will not grow weary. So this is a way to con to contradict worry. It's trusting God. And then lastly, it says here, they will walk and not faint. It's not easy to have a medical condition. And uh, it's easy to faint. But then uh, the Lord promised that if, he, if, if we put our full trust in Him, then He will take care of us. So I just want to encourage you. Well, it's been... Um, a crazy week for me because I ran out of my usual bag sets and I had to and I've, I'm so used to that and I have not been experiencing leaks for the past months um, but just the other day um, my supplier said that we don't have they don't have stocks anymore of what I used to order and so I had to um, shift to another brand and uh, it's just been so difficult but the Lord has provided people who taught me how to do it um, in the next um, uh, sessions of my YouTube channel, I will teach you how and I'll share it to you. Um, and I hope that you can find answers from this. Thank you and God bless you.